Now, let's do an accessibility check to the document that we have over here. In order to do that, I'm going to go into Tools and over here at the bottom, you see an option for accessibility. I can add in the option to the right, so I'm going to click on Add and I can click on Accessibility and you can see it right here. So now, what I can do is I can do a full check. You can do individual checks, but uh, since I'm going to check up everything, I'm going to do a full check. I'm just going to uh, these are some options that, that you can tinker around. I'm just going to select all of it and I'm going to start checking. And once I do that, you can see that there are some issues that actually shows up. There's some tab order failure, tag content failure, alternative text failure, and so forth. That is because if you open up the document in any other system, this does not support all of these might show some problems. So in order to correct these, I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to go into action widget. And over here, you can see that there are lists of options that I can select from. So I'm going to click on Make Accessible, and I have a range of options right here. So it says I should add a document description. So these are the list of things that I should do. So I'm going to add a document description, and over here, I can add in a title right here. So you can see here that it says Microsoft Word. I'm just going to remove this out and type in Computer Science, just like that. I can leave the subject as it is. I can also change this out. So I'm going to leave the subject as test. Let's say, for example, I can add in the author as tutor2. And over here, I can add in keywords as well. So test computer science. Once I do that, I'm going to press OK. And I see a check mark on the side of it. I can also set open options right here. So in order to set open options, I'm going to go into file right here. I'm going to go into properties and over here in the initial view, you can see that the navigation tab is page only. So I'm going to click on page only and page layout. I'm just, just going to say single page right here and magnification is going to be fit page. Once I do that, I'm going to press OK and there you go. You can also recognize the text using OCR if this is a scan text. But since this is not, I can actually just go over here and then press OK. There you go. It actually completed it. You can also detect form fields, but there are no form fields over here. So, no, so I can simply skip this step. You can also set tab order priority. In order to actually set the priority, you actually have to go over here. You can select this out, right click, and then you have to set the priority right here. Go to Paste Properties, and then you have to go to Use Document Structure, press OK. So that's how you set the uh, tab priority. You can also set the reading language. So this is English. So I'm just going to press OK. Um, if it is any other language, you have to select it accordingly. So I'm going to select English as it is, and I'm going to press OK. I can also auto tag the document right here. So this will actually bring up some tags. So if you want to search for any information, it makes it easy. You can also set alternative text. So if there are any figures like pictures, you can add in alternative text. But in this case, there are no figures. So let's say, for example, if you have a picture, you can set alternative text to it. Once you're done with everything, you can click on Run Accessibility Full Check again and start checking. And you can see a lot of them has been corrected just like that. So there are no forms, no page content and so forth. But you can see that there are some issues right here with headings. So I can actually go over here and you can see that this is the element. This is the heading element. So this is not of a much of a issue right here. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to go over here into document and there's some logical reading order. So this is for when everything is read out. This is a manual check. Nothing to worry about much. Color contrast is all fine. And so now I don't need to do anything else for this. So this is how you check the file for accessibility. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.